If you're like me, you did not like to have crumbs in the car, but then again, life gets in the way and you can't always get to a vacuum cleaner. So today we're gonna to be looking at a portable vacuum cleaner by a company called Auto Omo. This can be purchased on Amazon and the reviews are really split. There are some group of people that really like it, there's some in the middle, and then some that don't like it at all. But that's what we're gonna check out in this video. If you're new here, my name is Jeff, and this is Jeff Reviews For You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at this car vacuum to see if it's any good. Here's a cordless car vacuum that was sent to me by the company Auto Omo. Let's do a quick unboxing. Here we are unboxed. You can see that I have a carrying case, the vacuum itself, a charging cable, two different attachments to vacuum, a cleaning attachment. I guess this must be an extra filter. And then here are the directions. So let's look at the vacuum itself. You just pop this part off. You just pop this part off. Hold on, there you go, it just took a little more effort. All right, so it's a sleek little vacuum, but then it is a little vacuum. So if you think about the amount of space that you're gonna be able to get any kind of debris or vacuum, it's just gonna be very little. The on off button is right here, so we can click that, see if there's any charge from the factory. Ooh, there is. All right, so what I know from reading the directions is this has a 70 watt motor. It does have two 2000 milliamp batteries inside. The directions tell us that to charge from empty all the way up to full take three and a half hours and you get about 20 minutes of use. The decibel level they say is about 75 decibels. What I'm gonna do now, fully charge this and then test it out. So the company included a USB charger. It is proprietary, so make sure you have this set aside so where you won't lose it because that's not the same type of tip as normal. So when I plug it in, the charger light is green, but as soon as I plug it into charge, if it needs a charge, this will turn red. The directions tell us that red light right there will again turn green when this is done charging. Let's come back and test it out then. I wanted to show you some of the components with this vacuum while we're charging. So you can see in here where the filter is. So when you're vacuuming, all your debris stays on this side of the filter in this area. So it's not a very big compartment. I will say they have a couple different attachments that you can use. Attach it to the top here and you can get into crevices and small areas. Plus you can also attach this brush on there to help you get into other areas that might need to be brushed out. That's pretty convenient. They send two HEPA filters. One is a stainless steel HEPA filter and one is a more traditional looking HEPA filter. And they tell us that both of these can be cleaned. The stainless steel one can be rinsed under water, but it must be fully dry before you can use it. This is the brush that they have that you can clean it off. And if it gets too much debris that you need to or that you can't use anymore, this one you have to replace. Whereas the stainless steel one, you can just rinse and let it dry and use again. Just got back from Lowe's, getting some plants, a lot of debris on the center console. So now I'm gonna take my car vacuum and vacuum it up. Now that I have vacuumed up as much as I can with this vacuum, I'm actually gonna add the attachment that has the little brush to see if I can get in and out of these little cracks. I was actually pleasantly surprised with how well this little brush did getting inside those cracks. Since the vacuum did so well on my center console, I decided to vacuum up these gap guards. Now, these gap guards are probably one of my favorite purchases that I've ever purchased. It blocks things from dropping down there. They are pretty sweet. All right, let's vacuum them up. Just like that, pretty clean. So tell me, have you used any of these portable car vacuums? Would you recommend one over another? Let us know down in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Although this little vacuum is not intended for spaces like this, I just wanted to see how it did.
I'm gonna keep vacuuming for now until this Auto Omo car vacuum goes completely dead. And then we're gonna check to see what kind of debris I have and then recharge it. After about 10 minutes of vacuuming, I noticed that it was no longer picking up debris. Like I would see something, go to vacuum it and it'd still be sitting there. So my guess is the hopper got too full. So let's empty it out. So I'm just do a quick turn, pull this apart. Now the filters in here, I'm just gonna pull that out. Ooh, and let's see what I got in 10 minutes of vacuuming. Well, that's not so bad. If we take the little brush that they gave us, we can brush off some of this. Remember, I'm using the stainless steel filter, so I can reuse this again and again. That's a lot of stuff that came out, and I actually vacuum my car at least every other week, so I'm just pretty impressed with what this picked up. Now I'm going to reassemble the vacuum cleaner and head back out. After about 20 minutes of use, you see that this starts blinking red, which means it's time to recharge. Just an observation I've noted, this comes with just a USB charger, so when you're charging it, you have to plug it into a USB adapter, which is fine, right? Because that's what most things do. My thought is that this is supposed to be for a car. It would have been nice if it came with a car adapter too, that way I can plug it in to the outlet in the car, the cigarette adapter in the car. All right, so every two or three times I use this, I always clean out the filter because it gets nasty. And then if I just run it through some water, it tends to get, you know, a lot cleaner than I let it dry. Because even if you brush it, you still miss some of the particles. I'm gonna let this sit and dry in the sun. I wanted to give you a decibel reading on this vacuum because that's some of the complaints people noted on Amazon was that this thing was very, very loud. So let's see how this vacuum sounds. You saw that it got as high as 78, which is pretty loud. It noticed it was loud traffic. So I do agree with that. It is loud, although I think it gets the job done. In this video, we were looking at a portable car vacuum from the company Auto Omo. So what did I think of it? First things first, it is portable. I like that. It's pretty small. It could fit into glove boxes or storage compartments in your car. And I think that's pretty cool too. I was kind of disappointed about the charging port, not something that would plug into a cigarette adapter. If you're using this for a car, that's kind of what you're going to want. I know some vehicles do have that USB plug, but not all of them do. All right, so if we talk about the reviews on Amazon, the ones that said, hey, you know what, had no suction power and it was really, really loud, I'll talk to that a little bit. I do think that it's pretty loud, but it's a vacuum cleaner. That's what it's going to do. It's going to make noise. And at least for the first 10 minutes, it has pretty decent suction power. My experience after that 10 minutes, however, is it's a whole lot less powerful than it was the first 10 minutes. And yeah, it does benefit from having an extra charge. I found myself in that last 10 minutes having to dump the hopper every two or so minutes, whereas um, in the beginning, I didn't have to dump it as much. Just something I wanted to point out. Anyway, if this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. So this vacuum just came off of being charged and it took all of three hours to fully charge this unit after being ran completely out. I will say the first 10 minutes of this works really, really well. I find that the suction power is able to pick up lots of things and I don't really have an issue. It's after the 10 minute mark, the battery starts to weaken and then it's not able to pick up things as easy. Most of my vacuuming revolves around my son. He eats in the car and he spills in the car. But you know what? This thing does a really good job and it's handy to have around. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of this portable car vacuum. You know what? In this video, I pointed out my car gap fillers and that's an as seen on TV product that I reviewed not that long ago. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at this review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.